Hi, this is James C2. Welcome back to our latest tutorial. Today we thought we'd do a quick tutorial just showing you how to use the new version of the Dynamics 365 free trial. The process for signing up has changed slightly, so we thought it would be a good idea to show people how to get through it easily. Now, when you click on the free trial link provided by us, the first thing you'll see is the screen shown to you now. What we're going to do here is just click yes for delegated administration, because that's what we want to be. We want to be an administrator. and when we click on next it takes us to the next stage in the process we enter a few details so country or region i'll just fill in some of these and we fill in the details as required when you come down to organization name it'll pre-prompt that into your user id you can change it if you want manually don't have to but i'm just going to leave it as is it'll do a quick check to make sure that's available i'll make up a password Now the free trial also uses two-step verification, so it requires a phone number from you so that you can either text you a code or it'll call you and provide a code. One word of warning, I have noticed if you're on a switchboard, sometimes the call me doesn't always get through. So if you're on a switchboard, it's usually a better idea to use the text. So enter the number, click text me, and I'll put in our verification code. Comes through very quickly and I'll create the account. You'll quickly see a signing in screen. And when your trial has finished loading, this is the screen you will see, the admin center. So for experienced users, you do still have the option of using the old admin interface by clicking the link in the top right hand corner, but we're going to go through the options here. So first thing we have to do is go to setup at the top here where it says Dynamic 365 Plan 1 Enterprise Edition. Now, the first thing that we're prompted to do is add our users. With free trial, we can add up to 25. We're not going to add any at the moment because we already have the user, which is me, but you can add as many as you like in here up to 25. So let's move on to the next step. You do get the option of adding in Project Pro and any other apps that are available to you at the moment, but we don't want to do that for just now. So we'll click next and give it feedback if you like, and we go to the admin center. Okay, now this sometimes does take a little while to set up, so we're going to pause the video at the moment. It usually takes about five minutes, but what you'll see is eventually we're going to find the Dynamics 365 Admin Center that's available, so we'll give it a few minutes and we'll be back with you soon. Okay, now we found in this occasion it took a little while, so we just logged out, logged back in, and now we have our extra Admin Center. So come to Dynamics 365. And this is where we set up the language, currency, and the scenario for our free trial. It's very important that you get this right the first time because there's no way to change it after you've set up your trial. If you do make any mistakes, you basically have to cancel your trial and restart a new one. So language, a few options there, English. Now for the scenario, you can use a customized scenario for your free trial. If you're primarily a sales focus, you can tick this box. Customer service, if you, for example, are a call center, that type of scenario, field service for offsite engineer management, project service optimization, if you work with projects and such forth, you can add all of those scenarios or you can choose to not use any of them. Now, my personal recommendation is to not take a customization, simply because if you do, it does restrict some of the options you have with your free trial. If you think, well, we're a sales focus, so you pick that and then you realize case management would be a good idea, you don't have access to it. Now, at the moment, the currency is set to US dollars. I want to change that because we're in the UK and submit. And that's the free trial set up. When I click complete setup, and here we are, now it's loaded, buy now option is here and we can use the option here for the help hub and there are videos and tours and things that are available for the users if they wish. So, thanks for watching, hope you found that useful. If you want any more information, please just follow us on Twitter, like the video and you can always subscribe to our YouTube channel. If you'd like a free trial, please just click the link. Thanks for watching.